Water Injection Falloff Emerald incorporates an analytical water injection falloff model from which, based on a temperature trace at a certain time after shut-in and knowing the injection rate, it is possible to estimate the water injection profile and to simulate the temperature profile during injection. Starting from a DTS dataset, a number of traces after shut-in are extracted. An explanation of how to load this dataset and plot the traces at different times can be found in the video DTS Loading. The measured injection profile prior to the shut-in is also shown on the left of the array. Create a new interpretation. As this is a thermal modeling case, select Classical with Thermal Modeling. As the origin of the data is purely DTS, there are no spinners present. For the reference temperature, use one of the traces, for example at 43 hours from the beginning of the shut-in. The following conditions correspond to the water injection falloff. The total injection rate was 10,000 barrels per day for one hour. It is necessary to know the shut-in start time since the simulation uses the elapsed time from the beginning of the shut-in to account for transient temperature behavior. Even though the injection profile can be simulated by matching only one trace, adding more will help to improve the confidence of the injection profile. The pressure can be defined from wellhead or reservoir tops. In this case, use a known value at the top of the reservoir. There is no need to input a pressure profile. Emerald will simulate it based on these inputs. The geothermal temperature will be obtained from one of the traces. This could also be a numerical input. It is necessary to define the thermal properties of the different formations in order to get meaningful results. In this case, the overburden is defined with the lower thermal conductivity. The PVT selection for the water injection falloff model is limited to water. Default values are used here. In inflows, contributions generate the initial solution. There is clearly no match with the temperature traces as the assumption is that there are equal injection rates for the different perforations. Since the total injection rate is known, set a large weight for matching this constraint and click on Global Improve. Emerald will simultaneously simulate and match all the selected traces and, after a number of iterations, it will converge to a stable solution. Compare the measured injection rate with the simulated in a user view. Very good agreement is obtained. Also, the trace measured in injection conditions matches with the simulated injection temperature. This concludes this video on water injection falloff.